Hello and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today we'll try to do this quest. Even though it just says adventure with Aranara. We already got that completed. Maybe we could go in here? No. Do you have questions for me? See ya. Wait, what was the top option? Do you need a hand with anything? I'm doing rather well. Are any Aranara in need of help? Center of Banarana and you see Arapakata either. Something has been troubling her lately. Oh, well, I guess we'll go check that out. Isn't the golden Nara, alas. Ara Pakati, not afraid. Narajuruma is good Nara. Just like the Nara in the stories. Narajuruma and Pokemon have helped us a lot. Okay, Ara Pakati. Not afraid. Ara, Ara Pakati trusts Ara, Arama. And the grass, leaves, and seeds. While they are good Nara. Hello, Narajuruma and Paimon. Hello, Ara Pakati. Actually, I'm bad. Hey, don't make that kind of joke. You good. Our Picotti knows. Lots of winds bring lots of small seeds. They come to Vanarana with Nara. They say Nara Jaruma is nice. Rama said something like that too. Speaking of which, seeds brought by winds. You mean like dandelion seeds? Did the winds bring the seeds of those stories? Narajuruma is going to help Arana to form a bija, so we will prepare for Festival at Saba together. Oh, Festival at Saba. Arpakati looks strange. Is anything troubling you? Arpakati big brothers have not returned to Vanarana. We siblings can't celebrate Festival at Saba together if they don't return. I haven't seen Arachatora, Arasaka, Arapas, and Arafala in Vanarana for a very long time either. Never seen them after that incident. Very long time ago? How long is that? Many, many moons ago, when the seed seedlings had just sprouted. But now they are already big trees, big enough to keep the rain off Aranara. It's seven Arapakadis tall. From seedlings to tree, wow, that's a really long time. Are your brothers missing Arapakadi? Missing? Is that a type of seed? Oh, so Nara seeds are called missing? Amazing. Nara are amazing. Nara's room must have many missings. <laughs> oh, that's not what we mean. Means you don't know where they are. Oh, not like that. Arapakati knows where Arachatora, Arasa, Rapas, and Arafala are. Brothers not missing. They have been training at Vanarana for a long, long time. Cooking training. Oh, cooking training? Paimon gets it. Sounds like something Paimon would be interested in. Hmm. Paimon is more interested in Jeruma's cooking training. So what is this cooking training exactly? Happened in the last festival at Saba. Nara made lots of food for Aranara to try. So to make food for Nara in return, in this festival at Saba, Arachatora and the others have been taking cooking training. Pama can't wait any longer for this festival at Saba. But that's Aranara's food. Delicious food is the common language of all living creatures. It'll be fun. But Arapakati, since you know where they are, why don't you search for them yourself? Magnificent festival at Saba is about to begin. Arapakati has lots to prepare. No time to search for them. They left Vanarana for cooking training to prepare for Festival Atsaba, but they don't know Festival Atsaba is about to start. Arachatora, Arasaka, Arapas, and Arafala, stupid. Then leave it to us. 
We'll be going with Aroma to find the Aranara in the forest and prepare for festival at Sawa anyway. Isn't that right, Jeruma? Leave it to us. But how will we find our what what were their names again? Arachitora, Arasaka, Arapas, and Arafala. Uh, Arana, Arama, Araja, Arapakari, Arana. Names are so hard to remember. Paimon, don't say that about Arunara names. You're gonna make the Arunara sad. Okay, okay, so how do we find them? They used to do cooking training with Vanarana. But they made lots of smoke, so Arapaki kicked it out. Everyone was so scared that some Aranara even hibernated. Luckily, Arama was brave and punished the smoke. Arapakati was furious and made them leave. So you should be able to find them in the forest by looking for the rising pillars of smoke, I think. So you kicked them out. Yes. Did I make a mistake? Uh, not really. Anyway, Jeruma, let's get going. Alright, one more thing. If my brothers are acting strange, go splat them with the power of Dendro. In the past, they created lots and lots of smoke, filled all of Vanarana with smoke. They were afraid to and ran around everywhere. Sometimes they also became like that if they touched strange mushrooms. But Aranara of spirits of the forest, so we can recover and regain our senses by absorbing the power of Dendro. Pama gets it now. By that logic, Jeruma cover recovers after eating sweet madame, so Jeruma must be a sweet madame spirit. Yes, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. Good luck, Narajuma. Good luck, Paimon. All right, I guess it's time to start looking for him. Guess we'll head to this waypoint. Actually, we can go from here. I see the smoke. We should spot him with Stintro. Whimper. Ah! It's Nara! <sighs> I'm sorry that Nara had to see me in such a messy state. Kai Nara, I'm Arachitora. You are? I'm Jeruma. And Paimon's name is Paimon. Nara Jeruma and Paimon, I see. Thank you so much. If fate hadn't brought us together, it would have taken me much longer to recover. How long is a little longer? I'm ashamed to admit that something like this happened once before because of bad mushrooms. The Neelapala lotuses and the water bloomed and closed twice before I recovered. Bloomed and closed? Doesn't that take two days? Ah, uh, two days, I see. So that's what a day means. You Nara are really interesting. Are two days long or short? Hmm, what do you think, Jeruma? Is it long or short? Mm, it depends on what the time was used for. Well, that's true. Two whole days of whimpering is very long, but two whole days in a forest boar's life is very short. Really? So it's a very long time? But if you're Ara Chitora, aren't you related to Ara Pakati? Nope. Huh? But you're Ara Pakati's older brother, right? Oh, how did you know? Arapakati is my younger sister. Paimon is confused. Perhaps it's different for Aranara. Anyway, let us bring you up to speed. <laughs> you bring him up to speed on the event so far. Festival at Saba is coming again? What should I do? I haven't had the most important cooking ingredient yet. Festival at Saba should be the best time to prove the greatness of mushroom dishes to Arasaka, Arabas, and Arafala. So Aras, Pa, Ara, Arasaka, Arapas, and Arafala. Ah, Arbanara names are so difficult. Difficult. Arachitora. 
Where are your brothers? We drift apart on our paths of training, just like a river branches into streams. So you split apart, right? We train to cook the supreme delic delicacy, but they refuse to acknowledge mushroom dishes. How could they not see that the head mushroom is unmatched? Anyway, we decided to complete our own dishes and compete with each other later. Oh, Pymon totally understands the pursuit of delicious food. So, where's your head mushroom? Marana has been spreading rapidly. Even the head mushroom's habitat has been taken over. Ah, uh, the withering zone. Pymon hopes Marana is doing okay. It's a withering claw that probably taken the precious mushroom there. I'm sure you're aware how very, very dangerous Marana's territory is. Shot the head mushroom? I can only try the strange mushroom that no Aranara has ever tasted before. And? And we witnessed the outcome of it. How embarrassing. Now that Paimon thinks about it, the withering. Uh, Marana. We've dealt with it before, right? I barely got out alive. Whoa, unbelievable. You could fight Marana? Well, it does make sense. Since Narajaruma could heal me with the power of Lester Lord Kusanali, then removing the effect of Marana shouldn't be a problem. So I want to ask Narajaruma to come with me to the head mushroom's habitat. It's our chance to taste an extremely delicious mushroom dish, Jaruma. <clears throat> Let's help him, so that these siblings can get back together. You're just doing it for the food. We're killing two birds with one stone. What's wrong with that? All right, it's in the cave ahead. Please come with me. Alrighty. That don't look like a cave to me. After I found the head mushroom, I took the Roman touch to scab every time I pass. Imagine how good it would taste once it was all grown up. Cooking in a delicious dish for Nara Bruna is the final. The aura of the withering is growing stronger. It feels horrible. I hope the head mushroom is fine. Really? How do I get rid of the water? Kill these and hit that, huh? Stabilize. Brace yourself. Gather. <laughs> Well, that was one of them. Where the hell did the other one go? Huh? I don't know what that just did. But does that mean I can go down here now? Okay. Look a little larger than normal size, much it's better pick it later once the withering has been eliminated. For the mushroom. Alright. Oh damn, that almost killed me. 
illusion shattered. <laughs> Let's play. Yeah. Propagate. Yeah. Now we pick the head mushroom. Ah, the head mushroom. I've always been dreaming about it. Head mushroom? Would you still be the same without your sweet scent? Yeah, this mushroom does smell really good. Anyway, let's get out. Hey, what's so special about the head mushroom anyway? The head mushroom is a head of mushroom. What difference does that make? Oh, pie my nose, it's a mushroom the size of a head, right? Mmm, probably? What do you mean, probably? So what could you have met both of you? It's a smell of a fully matured head mushroom. It's richer than ever. So you grew well even when Marana took over your habitat. You're amazing. Uh, so we can we taste it? Of course, putting aside how you've helped me, serving the most delicious mushroom dish to Nara again has always been the goal of my cooking training. Oh yeah, head mushroom. Immediately starts cooking, the fresh aroma of the mushroom bursts out from the pot. Once it's ready, Arvachiptora serves it to you at Paimon. Should it be considered disappointing or conforming to expectations because it's tasteless? Besides that, it's filled with vitality and too tough to the point of being difficult to chew. It's done. My cooking training has finally been completed successfully. What do you think? I'm sure it's the best delicacy to Inara. Uh, how should Paimon put this? Chew forcefully. Swallow forcefully. It's a little too early for me to have something like this. <laughs> it's edible if you try hard enough. Mm, it's a very fragrant mushroom indeed, but its texture and taste don't really suit us. Huh? How could this be? When I served it to other Nara from before, she said it was good. From before? Served my mushroom dish to Inara some time ago. Because it was so good, she swallowed it with so much vigor. It should be fine. <laughs> oh, just like every Aranara grows different leaves, the taste of the mushroom may not suit all Nara. Right, speaking of leaves, are Aranara not afraid of fire? You look like you're covered in leaves. Of course it's scary. Forest fires sometimes raise entire forests until only barren ground remains. But it's for my cooking training, so keeping my fear at bay and controlling the temperature of the flames is also part of my training. Well, that's how it is. Anyway, guess it's time to go back. Ara Picati is waiting for you guys. Yes, I'll head back to Vanarana immediately. Can't keep my precious sister worrying about me. As for the others, Arasaka, Arafas, and Arafala, are around Gundaraville, Apam Woods, and Devantaka Mountain. Thank you, Golden Arajuruma. It's dazzling like the sun. Paimon is quite amazing too. I'll leave my sister's request to you. Why is Paimon only quite amazing? Oh, don't worry about that. Anyway, I don't know how to repay you for all the help you've given me. Mm, I've decided to give you my supreme delicacies recipe. Perhaps you'll grow fond of its taste as you age. Druma, if Paimon modifies his recipe a little, it should be able to become a pretty good original dish. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Let's see what's in it. Because I'm curious. It was green. Oh, that wasn't it. Fuck. I forget the name of it already. Hmm.
It was green, right? A recipe mushroom hodgepodge. So it's mushroom hodgepodge. Mushroom pizza. Ah, it's down here, that's why. So it wants those three different mushrooms, huh? And increases defense, okay. Now, the others. Yes, we'll do this one first. Is that the closer one? No, this is the closest. Damn. Damn it, there's another quest over here too. Uh, I hope that's not a quest they gotta do because the icon is different. Hmm, that smells so good. Is someone cooking around here? Whoa, what's cooking in there? Paimon's mouse is watering from just a whiff of it. Looks like some kind of soup. Mm. Paimon can't tell what's inside. Hey, Jeruma, what is it? The person cooking it isn't here and it smells so good. Let's have the mouse pool while it's left unattended. We should it. Paimon is just so curious. Uh, Paimon will just take one mouth pool, just one. But if you get a tummy ache after? Hmm, <laughs> don't you underestimate Paimon. Pot is smaller than it looks. The soup was in is all gone. Just like that. Uh-huh. It smells so good, but why doesn't Paimon taste anything? Great, Aramaku. Duh. What are you Nara doing? Aranara, where, where did you come from? From underground. Forget that. Why are you drinking my soup? Rafa's worked very hard on that. It, it, it was Paimon. Hey, Daruma, how can you betray Paimon like that? I don't care who drank it. My soup is gone. Do you know how difficult it is to make soup here? One minute it's rainy, one minute it's sunny. Finally managed to make this pot of soup, but while I was away picking fresh harvest fruits, you... Smell too good to resist. But if it's that difficult, why are you cooking here? <laughs> the key to cooking must be collected every day, which is... The will to never forget your dreams? Your... Water, it's water. Water has a huge impact on the aroma of my soup, so it has to be made with the best water. I've been collecting water throughout Apom Woods to make soup with. After collecting water samples as numerous as the leaves on a tree, I finally found the best living spring. It's the only water source fit for Festival at Salva's Supreme Delicacy. You want to get it even if I told you. Only that Nara from before. Speaking of which, or a Picati sent us. You bring him up to speed with the event so far. Your Nara friends and my sister, a festival at Salva is coming? Fine, I found Living Spring, and my supreme delicacy is complete. It's in this pot. Oh, right. <laughs> don't be sad, at least your soup is really aromatic. But my Living Spring. Alfaza live at its source. I waited so long for them to leave and only collected a pot of it. No, you must get me another pot of living spring. Uh, Savano, what's that? <laughs> you know, I really know nothing about the forest. They live in the water, and they have four legs, a tail, and they bite. Dogs? Dogs don't live in the water. Alright, then what's in Up Savano? Forget that, I want my water. And I want Living Spring from there in particular. Alright, alright, Truma, we don't have a choice here, let's go. Right. Must be Living Spring, and no other. So, just down here. Huh? Huh? 
Are those crocodiles? Crumble. That's what I was thinking was crocodiles. These are some weird looking crocodiles, that's for sure. Solidify. Shine down. Brace yourselves. So how do I obtain the water? Oh. Is that living spring? Hmm. My mind doesn't think it's any different from ordinary water. Never ever expect. Oh, wasn't there a thing to teleport me up there? And Aranara. Ah, uh, damn it. I guess I gotta help them. Stabilize. Illusion shattered. Nara, a golden and brave Nara. Hey there, Paimon's Paimon and he's Daruma. Why are you here all alone? Everyone at Varanarana is busy preparing for festival with Salva, you know. Arapandu has a very important task to do for festival at Salva, from Apam Woods and for Nara Varuna. Well, that makes you Arapandu then, but Nara Varuna? Hmm, that name sounds kind of familiar. Nara Varuna, she's a golden and brave Nara, just like Nara Daruma. But the moon and sun couldn't be seen, even the leaves of big tree in Vanarun were gnawed off by the wind, and the branches rotted away in the black rain. <clears throat> Vana's pain dripped into the soil. The smell of iron and salt was everywhere. Whoa. No one knows how many sunsets and sunrises passed before Nara Varuna came. Golden Nara, who spoke a golden language. She and Ara, Ara Nara brought back the moon and the sun. The Varuna contraption washed away Von Vanarana's pain. The black rain was gone and the smell of iron and salt was no more. Everyone from Vanarana sank and liked Nara Varuna, who was like the sun, mud, and the dewdrops. Wow, that sounds amazing. She must have been a good Nara. <laughs> but Nara Druma has also helped lots of people, for which lots of people are thankful. You'll definitely like Nara Druma as well, Arapandu. After she left Lana Rana, many were born from the soil and many returned to the soil. Later, the branches and leaves of the Varuna contraption grew weak, and the Varu Varunastra was like a scared finch and flapped its wings wildly. It then rained a lot. Very strange. Now, running mushrooms have settled in Vana. Seeds that have been never been seen before are everywhere. Do you mean the fungi and spores? Actually, that said, what are the Varuna contraption and the Varuna Nostra exactly? Could they be powerful weapons? Maybe they aren't weapons. What could they be, but then? It could be winged Aranara made out of water? What are those just be ocean in mimics? Hmm. No, not right. Now Druma and Paimon both wrong. Let's go to somewhere high above. Arapandu will tell you. Uh, something is seriously off with the air here. Very bad seeds. Can I participate in? Oh, let's turn his shit in real quick. What is this? Really? Let me leave. Oh. And I'm back in combat. Yay. Both of you are bad, Nara. Don't even seek about tricking me with water from somewhere else. Hmm, 
it's the water from the river source, a living spring that's cold and clean, just like moonlight. Arachitora, Arasia, and Arafala wouldn't be so stupid if they grew up drinking this water. Only Arapakati, my sister. Well, what's next? Huh? Oh, next up you have to make me a new pot of soup. Receiving guidance from Arapas, you add some fruits and vegetables into the water and start cooking. Rather nice aroma slowly emerges from the pot. Once you're done, you taste a fresh soup together. It sort of lives up to your expectations. It does carry the aroma of the ingredients, but a soup without any condiments is just too plain. It has no flavor at all. Mm. This is how the supreme delicacy should smell. Mm, what do you think, Druma? Yeah, it's too healthy for me, I think. Palmon thinks it would be better with some salt and pepper. Everything is better with salt and pepper. Great Aramuku, you want to add salt? What a horrifying idea. Land with salt is land without life. And Aranara will be forced to shrink into seeds, yet Nara wish to add salt? Seeds are supposed to be bland. How do you Nara not even understand that? And Nara from before told us a story after having a bowl of my soup. When we Nara children come home, the aroma of soup is the first thing we smell. As such, aroma is all a soup needs. After that, she complimented the aroma of the soup I made. I've never forgotten that. That's why I won't believe a word you say. But just aroma isn't enough. <laughs> but since you're the Nara of this festival at Saba, I'm sure you've received approval from Araja and Arapakati. So, I'll try making a soup with taste. Next time, I'll look for even better water so we can make an even better soup. I don't think water is the problem. Really? Anyway, my cooking training has concluded. Alright, let's see what we can do about this at Festival at Salva. I've taught you how to make the soup. It's a soup approved by the Great Nara. So do give it a few more tries. But make sure you don't forget to use good water. Druma, let's add some seasoning next time. It should be pretty good after that. Oh, we can't see the paper now ah oh, that sucks damn it okay what was this item masala cheese balls damn it Um, we'll switch to you. Let's go. Ah. I don't need an umbrella, but you can use one if you... Let's check the bottom. It's down here, okay. Spice, cheese, and potato. Need. Okay, now we had that other one over here. Did they really want me to go all the way over there? Holy shit. <sighs> and I don't see any of the teleport things over here. Really? Solidify. I don't want to fight you guys. And the teleport points up here somewhere too. <sighs> they don't want you pressing space, they want it to take forever climbing. Cause there's no way in hell you're getting up here pressing space repeatedly. Even though I keep pressing in every now and then. This is the vantage point, right? No. Oh, we got a teleport point. What the fuck?
Hey, what's over there? It's magnificent. Now in our room and by my nose. That is the Varunastra. But the Varuna contraption is in a deeper place, somewhere as deep as roots. We've underestimated our Varuna. Paimon didn't think it would be this big. Such power is not to be underestimated. Before the Black Rain and before Nara Varuna came to Vana, Aramu and Greater Lord Rukadavada created the Varuna contraption. Rain gave life many things. Black Rain, Black Mud, and many other bad things made a mess of Vana. Before she came, Ara Pandu had never seen such brave Nara. She fixed the machine together with Ara Nara, just like the sun driving away the sleepy fog. Nara Varuna is no longer in Vanarana. Ara Makanda is no longer in Vanarana, Varanara. But Aranara must fix the Varuna contraption again for festival at Saba and Vana. We promised a Raja and a Rama to help prepare for festival at Saba. As they say, the fire is bigger and stronger when more Nara help pick firewood, right? Eek! Um, no, no. Paimon meant that everything will go smoothly with more Nora helping out. Don't be afraid, it has nothing to do with fire. They're not related at all. Paimon, you've outsmarted yourself yet again. Oh, come on, we're here in Sumeru, you know? Paimon just wanted to show everyone that she knows lots of stuff, too. Our Pandu not scared. Paimon has good heart, just like Nara Jeruma and Nara Baruna. Paimon is friend of Aranara. Arana Kula and Arabalika. Arakunta and Arapandu want to heal the Varuna contraption, but there are too many spores of fungi, so we can't do anything. Arapandu doesn't have powerful Arakalari like Arabalika, and the strange rain made the fungi fiercer. Hold on. Arakalari? Arana told Paimon that it could be used to repel Marana. Powerful Arakalari can drive away fungi. Arapandu's Arakala is weak. Can't do anything to fungi. What? Arakalari can be used that way? Arakalari should be the general name for a certain type of ability. Narajuruma is smarter than Paimon. Uh. Different Aranara have different Arakalari. But all Aranara gain the power to use it from the plants of Vana. Arabalika's Arakalari is very powerful. Not afraid of large fungi and large iron nara. Large iron nara? Large iron nara are very big and have two arms and two legs like Nara Taruma, but only one eye. Oh, rune guards. Oh, you're talking about rune guards. Pretty clever, Paimon. <laughs> oh, there are fungi on the trees over there. Arabalika can defeat them, but Arapandu can't. Now, Daruma not afraid of fungi either. You do not use Arakalari, but you are very powerful. Destroy them like strong gust blowing away a leaf. Whoosh. If not dealt with, spores of fungi will multiply. Now, Daruma, leave them to us. Now, Daruma should be able to deal with them in an instant, right? Okay, since we're up here, I think I'll try to hit this teleport point. It must be up there. Oh no, it's lower. Is it? It's got a down arrow, not an up arrow. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'll unlock this domain. That's kind of on the way. Uh, is this one of them? You need the Dendro Granum. Like the... Electro shit? Yeah. Alright, 
Now we gotta make it over there. We should be able to hit that, I hope. Come on, please tell me I'm high enough to hit that. Okay. Careful now, it's rumor. Strange rain has made Pretty fungi nice. stronger. Shine down. Here we go. <laughs> Illusion shattered. Our room is like powerful wind, but there's still one more. Please handle it. Mm hmm. The Dendrogranum or Dendroclus. Okay, the last one's up there. Is there an easy way up there? Don't look like it. Uh, wait, this just lit up, didn't it? Oh, damn it. Could I jump on this? I can. Easier to defeat once the rain stops. There's still a long. Okay, none of that does anything. Wait, could I use uh? No. Okay. <laughs> That's how you get the Dendrogranum. Or Dendroculus, whatever. We should go to the Nara rest stop. Place closer to Varuna contraption. Should not have popped that, huh? I saved you. Why do you want to attack me? Uh, so this is the rest stop, huh? There are some signs that Aranara were here earlier. The Bruna contraption looks even more impressive from here. The pressure is so intense. Paimon, watch out in case you get sucked in. That won't happen. Paimon hopes. We've made an agreement. We'll meet up at the rest stop after hilling the Varuna Contraption's branches and leaves. Then we will banish the bad bugs gnawing on the Varuna Contraption's roots and hill it. By the way, what do you mean by the Varuna Contraption branches and leaves? The Varuna, the Varuna Contraption's branches and leaves are everywhere in the Vana. They give the machine power to turn black rain into good rain. Good rain then gives things life. Like how rainwater flows into a stream and then into a lake, the branches and leaves gather bits and pieces that go into the Varuna contraption. The Varuna contraption is now no longer the same. It is like broken branches that block the rainwater, so streams can't form. Without streams, the lake dries out. Pama uh, still doesn't get it. Like when a safe transportation route is blocked by roadblock, basically what happens when you starve. Guess the second one. Then we need to clear all the roadblocks to keep going. We just need to find another pass then. Who decided that we have to take this route anyway? Yeah, who decided this route? Anyway, we need to heal the branches and leaves first, right? Yes. Our Rapandu will take Paimon and Narajuruma there. Okay.
probably be better to go from up here. Wants to go over there, huh? I assumed we'd be going over there, honestly, but... Violet grass is a plant that enjoys a moist environment and is best picked after it rains. If you should choose to pick any, be sure to store them appropriately. Oh, Paimon never thought that we'd find them in a place like this. Hold on, eh? You sure these are branches and leaves? They look like, like stone placed by Aranara. Stone leaves, stone branches, they were created by Aramaka. Kuda and the greater lord Rakatavada, and can channel Vanarana's Vana power into the Varuna contraption. So the Varuna contraption is like a big tree. Oh, so that's how it is, huh? Hmm, oh no. The three leaves need to be turned to face the branch, but Arapandu is not strong enough. Well, you, Aranara, are kind of small. Don't worry. Just leave this to Narajuruma. Arabalika might be able to do it. Aranakula and Arakunti. Still, we need to solve this problem first. Narajuruma, Arapandu will leave it to you. Make the three leaves turn towards the branch. So what, I just point to that? Is that it? That should do the trick. Thank you, Narajuruma. Leave the rest to Arapandu. But it has been too long. Don't know if it will work this time. What? There's a chance it could fail? It worked before, but this time it may or may not work. Just like how the sun rose last time, and the time before that. But nobody knows if it will rise the next day. Only after the sun rises next time can Paimon say, Oh, the sun has risen again. Oh wait, that's not good. What if the sun never rises again? Paimon, there's no need to be afraid. Narajuruma is golden like the sun, just like Nara Varuna. A brave Nara, Narajuruma is. Nara Varuna returned the moon and sun to us. Narajuruma can also do that. Yes, Paimon also believes in Juruma. He can overcome any difficulty. Don't you worry. But for now, leave this to Arapandu. Ooh, Paimon thinks it worked? Yes, the branch of leaves here are healed. That's great, and your Aranara dance was really interesting too. You could learn some fancy footwork from Aranara, Paimon. Sounds like a great idea. I mean, more exercise would be good for you given how much you eat. Hey, Paimon's been running around everywhere with you, Druma. That counts as exercise. Still, this won't be enough to fix the Varuna contraption, will it? There are three more places like this in Mana. Arbalika is very strong and might succeed, but Arapandi is very worried about Aranakula and Arakunti. Vana has become more dangerous after the strange rain. Let's well, say we help you go check on them. After all, we can't prepare for festival at Salva in peace if the Varuna contraption isn't fixed. With the help of Paimon and Narajuruma, the Varuna contraption will surely be fixed soon. Life will return to Vana like before. Aranakula went to the Yasna Mountain Monument. There is an Aranara Memorial to Nara Varuna in the depths of Vana, but we haven't been there for a long time because of the fungi and spores. Aranakula is used to being with soil and seeds, familiar with all things born from the soil. Find him. Tell him Arapadu, Arapandu's name, then he would not be afraid. Oh, he sounds like a rather timid Aranara. Arabalika's Arakalori is very strong, but but please, Paimon and Arajuruma, go check on him. Arabalika is at the ruins of Dari. That place smells like iron so much. Paimon and Arajuruma must be careful. We will, thanks. Arakunti is at the Grove of Dreams. You can enter dreams from there. He and Nara have a distant re relationship. If he hides, play our music. Speaking of that, didn't we get an Aranara music score earlier? We could try playing that if we can't find Arakunti. Or a Pandu will wait at the rest stop and observe how Vana is doing. Aranokula 
Arabalika and Arakunti know how to meet up at the rest stop after healing the branches and leaves. Go to Nara, brave Nara. May Ara Hukunda watch over Naruto. Yep, you can count on us. Okay. So now we got three more to check up on. They all seem to be around this area too, huh? Okay. But that's for next time, I guess. If you watched it so, thanks for watching. And I hope you all have wonderful lives. Peace.